Uh, welcome to this video today, which is all about one of the uh, great traders of all time called Tudor Jones. He's one of the most successful hedge fund managers ever. And what I'm going to be doing here is um, looking at six quotes that I've picked out from him, which I consider a six of his best, and then discussing how you apply those quotes for trading success. We've actually got seven quotes in the video because I've started with one on the way in. And you know, Tudor Jones is actually a very aggressive trader, yet like all great traders, um, he's always in control of what he does, always decisive and has fantastic risk control as that first quote makes clear. So let's now move on to the first two quotes I'm going to pick out and, and then we'll discuss them. Here they come now. I believe the very best money is made at the market turns. Everyone says you get killed trying to pick tops and bottoms and you can only make all your money by playing the trend in the middle. Well, for 12 years, I've made a lot of money at tops and bottoms. There is no training, classroom or otherwise, that can prepare for the trading the last third of a move, whether it's the end of a bull market or the end of a bear market. Now we'll come back uh, after those two quotes from Tudor Jones. Um, the first one is really a statement of his trading style. And he makes the point there that uh, you know, he's been making money consistently at uh, you know, market turning points for years. And it is actually a fantastic way to trade and anyone can learn to trade and be a contrarian. Now the huge advantage of trading turning points over trend following is you can trade with such tight risk to reward. So, you know, your stops can be relatively tight, but your reward potential, if you pick the turning point correctly, um, is always excellent in relation to your risk. And I think also, you know, trading contrary actually suits most Forex traders because you don't have to have the discipline um, that you have to have in trend following to really just hold on for weeks on end. You know, contrarian trades normally are completed within a few days. And the logic of trading turning points will never go out of fashion. You know, markets will always go too far to the upside when greed is present and too far to the downside when fear is present. That's, that's always going to be the way. Big price spikes fade. Obviously, you have to have techniques which can help you catch these turning points. And I'll, I'll come to those in a bit. Um, but firstly, I want to go to that second quote where he makes the point that you know, classroom education and training and so forth does not prepare you for actually dealing with turning points in the market. And I think any learning uh, from textbooks or training without money does not prepare you for trading in the markets, no matter what strategy you're using. And I think traders, when they come in the market, they think they're just going to become great traders overnight. Um, but they underestimate you know, the pull of emotions when you're in the market and so forth. And I think it takes really a good while to get used to the experience of trading. You know, you can't buy experience in trading. You know, it does take a good few months to get used to the feel. So if you're a new trader, bear that in mind. Now, what I want to do now is go on to the market movement and, and techniques for trading. So let's move to the next two quotes and then we'll discuss them. The need to understand and rationalize why something should go up or down, usually by the time that becomes self-evident, the move is already over. These days, there are many more deep intellectuals in the business, and that, coupled with the explosion of information on the internet, creates an illusion that there is an explanation for everything and that the primary task is simply to find that explanation. I welcome back. Uh, those two quotes for me perfectly summarize up what you know, Forex market movement is all about. And also in those two quotes, there's clues on how to trade it. Now, the first quote where he says about people want to rationalize the market, they do, most losing traders in particular. And over my trading career, one of the uh, statements I've heard most frequently is, the market can't do that. Yes, the market can. The market can do anything that it wants, and it will constantly surprise traders. And I think you know, if you have a, a move that is unexpected, don't try and rationalize it. Look to be trading it. Give you the perfect example. Let's say you've got a tight trading range 
and suddenly you get a big breakout on high volatility. There's no reason for it that you can see, but there is a big break on high volatility. That means you can probably trade the direction of the break. So don't you know just wonder why it happened or think it can't happen, it must come back. If the price action is telling you, um, you know, to trade it, trade it. And it, you know, that would be an uncomfortable trade. And there's an old saying, you know, don't do comfortable trades in Forex. You know, uncomfortable ones are the ones that are more likely to be profitable. Now, in the second quote, uh, I think Chu Jones makes a, a, a key point about markets today and how beginners view markets. They just basically want explanations for what happened. And, you know, you see it after the event, traders you know, explaining what happened and why. Well, that's after the event, OK? And, you know, you can, you know, in hindsight, you know, just prove why anything happened. You've actually got to trade uncertainty. And that is more difficult. And I think, you know, traders, when they're looking for explanations, make their trading strategies overtly complicated, OK? Forex trading is very simple. You trade the truth. The truth is price action. You keep your trading strategy simple. Don't look for explanations after the event. You're trading it in the event. You actually have to rely on your, your knowledge and your intuition and your trading rules. So, you know, don't try and overcomplicate things or go back endlessly over charts trying to find the perfect method. Forex trading is very simple. Simple method, act decisively and do what other traders will not do. Now let's move on to the final two quotes. The truth is the risk side of a trade demands much more consideration than the reward side. Successful traders know this. They know that the market will move much more or less than they ever expect it to and controlling your risk exposure and taking what the market will give you is far more important than basing a trade on some pie in the sky profit target. Every day I assume every position I have is wrong. I will come back after those two quotes uh, which are both on money management. Now Paul Tudor Jones might be a very aggressive trader, but he puts a great emphasis, like all the great traders do, on risk control. There's many different ways to make money, but unless you've got great risk control, you are not going to win longer term. And in terms of the first quote, I really like um, the bit where he says that you know the risk side takes more consideration than the reward side. You know, in my view, traders don't appreciate this. You know. You know, if things are going your way, there's nothing for you to do. But you've got to actually focus on the risk. You should do it before you come in a trade. Always work out what your worst eventuality is. And I think traders don't do this. And in, this, in that first quote as well, he makes the point that, you know, all successful traders know that moves are likely to go further than they anticipate. Now, that's not just on the upside, that's on the downside. So you cannot argue with the market. You know, you know, moving your stop back or not trading with a stop loss in the first place is a recipe for disaster. We're dealing with a volatile market with leverage. And you know, if you're dealing you know, with leverage in a volatile market, you actually have to cut those losses. And Moves always do tend to go further than most traders think. Now, that's great on the upside, but on the downside, it can lead to disaster. So that's why tight risk control is essential. He also, um, in the second quote there, assumes that every day he is wrong. So he's always focused on what he can lose each day. And he did actually once say that he actually looks at his positions from the point of view that he put them on the day before, even if he's been in them for a while. I think that's a fantastic tip. Why? Because it takes out complacency. Lots of traders who are making money in the market and have, let's say been making money for a few days, suddenly become complacent. They think the move is gonna go on forever. So if you assume you put on the trade the day before and then look at the situation, you'll really, really be able to see 
um, much clearer if that trend is going to continue. You won't be blinded by complacency. And the one thing I like about um, Tudor Jones as well is that he, he also once said that when he's in a market, he expects the move to come quickly for him. OK, this is very true of contrary trading. You know, you expect the move to come quickly. So if it doesn't come quickly, he puts a time limit on it. So he'll come out the market if the move hasn't moved far enough for him, even if he's making money. Now, I think that's a great tip because, you know, you, you are, when you're trading contrary, looking for the move to come quickly. If it pauses or stops or stalls, chances are you might have another swing against you. So why not get out? As Tudor Jones uh, said in another interview, uh, yeah, you can always get back in. And I think that's very true. You, you, it's easy to get back in a market. It's not easy to get out of a market, particularly for beginners, when they've let a loss run and leads to disaster. Now, in terms of those quotes I've given you, they're my, just, yeah, my six favourites. Um, but I think if you go back and you read them and you think about them, they really are um, you know, really good quotes on helping you achieve Forex trading success. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the six quotes uh, from legendary trader Paul Tudor Jones. Um, I'll be back with new videos shortly with top quotes from other traders. So thank you for watching me as per usual. Take care and have a good day.